Hi folks, it's Shane here with EventPro Software. In today's video, we're going to be exploring EventPro's event screen. Before I get started, I will point out that the modules and tabs shown today may look different for every user for a number of different reasons, such as user rights or user permissions, modules that may have been purchased, or changes in the back end. Let's start with the basics. We are currently viewing an event screen for our staff banquet. You will find the event name, client name, event manager, contract status, deposit status, event status, and user lock level located just below the event pro ribbon. As we work our way down the screen, we will find five distinct tabs. Event detail, financial, communications, tasks, and documents. The event detail area is where you can add setup equipment, assign staff, add your food and beverage, attach an event package, or build an event floor plan. The financial tab will provide us a financial summary for the entire event. It will also allow you to generate invoices, track payments, and build event budgets. Communications within EventPro refer to any interaction you have surrounding this event. Depending on your email client, you should be able to send and receive emails. You can also record summaries of phone calls or face-to-face -face conversations. Event Pro Task Area will show you all of your reminders associated back to this event. These tasks may be auto-populated based on your event category, or these could be one-off user-created reminders. Finally, Documents. EventPro provides a centralized hub for your team to attach all their event-specific PDF files, spreadsheets, Word documents, or image files. Those are the basics to navigating EventPro's event screen. Please reach out to our sales team. Our information is in the description below to get pricing or a more thorough walkthrough of the application. Don't forget to like and subscribe to EventPro's YouTube page to stay up to date with all of EventPro's new features. Thank you for watching.